Hey everyone, my name is Nick Sulo. I'm an artist with a background in visual effects, working for the film and TV industry for the past decade. I'm also the co-creator of Exulo, that's known for creating the techno dystopia surreal artworks. In today's video, I want to show you guys how to create a illustration using an already pre-made Maya scene. So we'll go ahead and jump into the Maya scene and then get the files ready to bring that into Photoshop and do the final uh, 2D illustration. So let's go ahead and jump in. So here's the original render. Uh, when I made this, I kind of imagine this interior apartment with this huge uh, window out looking in outer space. So it's maybe kind of like a space station shuttle floating in space. We have a subject laying in her bed, uh, an ottoman with chair and a little bonsai tree. And the first approach of uh, doing this render was, you know, photorealistic, real kind of world scale. Some realistic lighting, you know, from the sun coming in, casting its shadow and light through here. Realistic textures, some depth of field. Um, it's kind of going with that CG kind of hyper real look. But now that we actually want to go ahead and make this kind of flip it on its head and make it more of a stylized, illustrative, vibrant colors and just kind of push the color palette more. So these would be more saturated and maybe more kind of a flat shading tone to them so they won't have all those little kind of realistic displacements and texture maps going on there. So what we can go ahead and do is I'm just going to go in on all these textures and just start kind of pumping up the hues and values and just playing around and having fun with the colors to kind of already give it that kind of cartoon illustration look to it. And then go ahead and also apply it to like the V-Ray tune line work to it as well. So let's go ahead and jump in. So at this stage, I'm trying to find some of the lights, uh, some of the main lights that I can start applying more color to. So I'm introducing things like more blue color tones. And we have a light source uh, above the ottoman chair that's kind of a more of a, a warmer color tone. So maybe have it more of an orangish. And then the ottoman chair, kind of like this nice, rich, vibrant, you know, uh, magenta or maybe purple. We'll play around with that. And also bring in some more lighting in there so we can highlight the character more so there's not so much strong uh, light and shadow happening in the piece. And then start introducing some more vibrant other colors. We have the lampshade, the bed, more of these kind of aqua blue and this uh, kind of a soft purple. I think that's a really kind of a nice color palette to kind of show off when you have uh, someone that's sleeping in bed. I think those are real nice soft colors. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, apply some of the, the render passes in here and then jump into the final stages, get this out into uh, Photoshop. Just making sure that things are looking pretty correct before we go ahead and take this into Photoshop. So let's go ahead and check out some of the render passes and how they can be pretty useful with creating some of the tune stuff. So the diffuse, um, we'll, we'll probably eventually do is bring this into Photoshop and kind of push up the diffuse pass over RGB color. And that will kind of help give it the tune shader look. Uh, V-Ray Dirt, which is the ambient occlusion, is always super helpful, kind of adding the depth into the artwork, global illuminations. Lighting pass will kind of really help also bring up the highlights and the shadows as well. And normal is what I'll eventually do is what I like to do with this is kind of a uh, Use it as like a saturation overlay, and it'll kind of help really push up uh, some of the colors, uh, make it a little more vibrant. And we got reflect. We probably won't use too much of the reflect pass, I'd imagine, with like uh, having that tune illustrative look. We don't really want too much of that realistic uh, lighting going on. But with the uh, the background, and what I imagine what I'm gonna do is taking in this um, earth, obviously, and probably just doing an illustration over it and making it have a more of a cartoon look to it so it's not so photorealistic. And we have the render ID. This can maybe be really helpful in terms of selecting certain assets in the scene. And then um, we can even use this possibly to really kind of push up the, the values and play around with the, the lighting and the shading. Really drive it at home that it's an illustration. You have a shadow pass. Spec pass can be very useful. And then obviously the tune shader pass. And this is um, low res for now. So the lines are very bold. I think this is like uh, a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. So the final render would eventually be like, I would say about 3K 
by 3K square, somewhere around there. And the line work won't be as thick like we see in here, but uh, obviously this is going to be a great helpful guide in uh, pushing the illustrative uh, elements in the final piece. And then um, glare as well. Glare is always kind of nice to add, even in illustration, kind of adds a nice style to it. So now you add the colors and the values and, you know, the overall brightness and the textures are really working now. Being able to pump up um, a lot of the texture maps um, through the exposure and then the uh, colors, it kind of gives it more of a softer, flat texture tone to it and less of that photorealistic uh, grit and grime. But I like to keep the floor in here, the texture of it, because I really like the pattern of it and just went ahead and it pumping up, like I said, to that exposure. And it kind of really shows off some of these highlights. And I feel like this could be really a good way to uh, starting point with creating like the illustration over it and just have fun with it. And, and so yeah, we'll go ahead and take this into Photoshop and just start uh, playing around with the post illustration of this and just having fun. All right, let's jump into that. So now that I'm in Photoshop, I'm just going through the different layers, reflection passes, and then the tune shader. I'm just kind of layering everything and then making some color adjustments, adjusting the bed color tones and the chair to color tones, because I kind of want to be able to have those color contrasts to that. So making further adjustments to that and then taking things like the lighting pass and uh, any kind of reflection passes to kind of really pump up some of the highlights, some of the shadows. And then eventually what I did is uh, there was a pre-made illustrative like um, Saturn. So I went ahead and dropped that in. I was just going to go ahead and illustrate on top of that. And then adding in other effects like film grain while I uh, add in the detail illustrations to the main character. All the little line work that I wasn't able to get from the CG render, like the cloth. So I'm going back in there, adding in different kind of wrinkles and then some extra line detail in the character and the bed itself. And then for the rest of the set, I kind of want to add a little bit of more texture to it, illustrative texture to it. So I'm kind of drawing in these, I think these crack lines and just a little nuanced detail adjustments. I'm going back in and thickening up some of the line details. So it just kind of pops more and has more of an illustrative feel and kind of helps push back the 3D look of it. And then I'm going into the planet and then starting to add in details and paint overs for the planet and then doing some final line work on the uh, planet itself. So let's go ahead and check out the final artwork. So yeah, here's the final illustration um, with all the layering happening. So we got, this is like the base start roughly. And then I replaced the window obviously with uh, the Saturn illustration and then the line work and then some post work done on top. So a lot of the glare pass and then painted in kind of glare, which adds a nice atmosphere to it and a bit of playfulness with that. And then you can kind of see I added in some grain as well. Usually I tend to like to go with the grain because it kind of evens and smooths out and maybe hides some of the different variation of like textures and line work and just kind of makes it feel a little more even. And uh, let's check out the raw 3D render. This was straight from Maya. And you can kind of see that there's a lot of like a bit of the global illumination, natural kind of lighting, and uh, a lot of the colors and hues and values are really toned down. And um, being able to go into Photoshop and using like things like the render ID and selecting different parts of the scene, I was able to pump up some of these colors so you can see right here turn off some of these layers it's able to pump up the chair more and then even the color and the values in the bed and uh, make things sort of kind of feel evenly almost kind of flat but not too flat and some a lot of uh, color variations happening here so it kind of really pushes the illustration more being able to make those color adjustments and have the lighting a little more evenly lit and not so dark and muted just more of a bright poppy feel to that that way when we add in all these details especially with the line work it feels just 
more of an illustration, less just like a, an actual 3D render. So it's kind of a mix of both. So yeah, here's the before, and then here's the after. So yeah, uh, this pretty much covers on the uh, making an illustration straight from the 3D render of an interior scene. So I hope you enjoyed the video and keep an eye out. It's gonna be probably more uh, tutorials to come here on NVIDIA Studio. All right, take care.